Harry was three when I found out we were pregnant with Finlay and very excited to be a big brother but it was at 24 weeks pregnant that we had some complications. All over the Christmas period I was in hospital. When Finlay was born he was actually doing quite well and um, they were happy with him until he was about three days old when he had a hemorrhage in his lungs. He was in hospital for eight and a half months. Harry would play games with the other children. He just took it upon himself to get to know everybody, I think. And because high dependency, it tended to be a place where there were quite a lot of long-term patients as well. We got to know quite a few of the families on there. Harry made sure he knew everybody's name um, and would often go and play with them. Finlay arrived home with quite a lot of equipment. Um, he arrived home with um, an oxygen concentrator, um, which is quite a large machine. It's probably about this big. Um, it's in our living room. Um, very noisy. Um, buttons that he could press and dials that he could mess with, um, but he hasn't. He understood very quickly that it was not to be touched. He calls his ventilator his energy boost machine because that's how we explained it to him that when Finlay sleeps, the ventilator gives him extra energy then for the day after. I nominated Harry for the Super Sibling Award because I felt the title described him. He coped with a lot when his little brother was born and was a perfect big brother to him, even to the point of keeping his parents very sane at times. We needed to tell him that we're extra, extra proud of you.